Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in Cheat Lake, West Virginia? Whether you're dreaming of a peaceful lakeside community to settle or just curious about the day-to-day -day expensive in this lovely town. I'm here to walk you through the cost of living in this hidden gem. From the price of a cozy cabin to the cost of a carton of eggs, we'll cover all the bases. So without further ado, let's get to know the financial ins and outs and the life in Cheat Lake. Hi, I'm Erica Johnson with EXP Realty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Are you eyeing Cheat Lake, West Virginia as your next place to call home? It's a beautiful spot with a lot to offer, but let's talk about what it really costs to live here as I sit in this beautiful town. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Let's start by discussing housing costs of this beautiful lakeside community. Cheat Lake, West Virginia, is a breathtaking area that has seen steady interest in housing over the past few years. As of 2024, the median home price in Cheat Lake is around 325,000, reflecting the area's desirability and the amenities it offers as a suburban rural mixed community near Morgantown. Over the last three years, home prices have shown a slight fluctuation, but generally maintained stable growth, indicative of a healthy real estate market. The population of Cheat Lake has seen a slight decrease from 9,930 in 2020 to 9,728 in 2024, a minor shift that suggests a stable community. Let's look at the cost of food when it comes to grocery shopping in Cheat Lake. You'll find that the cost of food staples like a gallon of milk or a loaf of bread aligns with national averages. Meat prices vary, but you can expect to pay around what you would in other parts of West Virginia. Fast food prices are also standard. A meal at McDonald's won't break the bank and will be comparable to what you'd pay elsewhere in the state. Don't forget to hit those farmers markets with fresh produce. We have fresh eggs. So let's support our local areas and businesses and purchase from there. With that said, let's go ahead and look at utility costs. Utilities in Cheat Lake include essentials, gas, electricity, water, and telecommunication services such as cable, internet, and phone. Peak times for utility usages typically occur during the winter and summer months due to the heating and cooling needs. While specific costs can vary based on consumption, uh, residents can expect to pay what is in line with the national average um, utility prices. Let's take a look at taxes. Um, this is common common question property taxes in cheat lake are relatively low compared to the national average which is a plus for homeowners west virginia's average effective property tax rate is around 0.55 percent which is lower than many other states when it comes to vehicle tax and registration a change in sta state tax law means that vehicle owners pay their tax bill to their respective counties by april 1st and now all motor vehicles property taxes due in 2024, but paid in 2023, may be claimed on the taxpayer's 2024 income tax. Home insurance costs will vary depending on the property and the coverage option. Let's look at child care and education costs. Child care costs in Cheat Lake can vary widely depending on the type of service and age of the child. Public education is available and generally well regarded with the public schools in Cheat Lake being highly rated. Pre-K options are available and kindergarten is part of the public school system. So there are no tuition fees for the residents. Entertainment. Cheat Lake offers a variety of entertainment options for both families and adults. There are parks and recreation areas for outdoor activities. And while there may not be large amusement parks or ski resorts right in Cheat Lake, there are plenty of nearby options within a short drive. The area is known for its natural beauty, which provides a backdrop for many outdoor activities. Let's look at transportation costs. Transportation costs in Cheat Lake include the usual expenses like gas, which will be in line with the state average. Ride sharing services are available. And while there are no toll roads directly in Cheat Lake, they may factor into travel costs depending on your destination. The average commute time is reasonable and the cost of an oil change or other routine care maintenance is consistent with what you'd expect in any other place in West Virginia. Let's look at the major employers and healthcare costs. Major employers in Cheat Lake area include those in the healthcare, education, and retail sectors with Morgan House proximity offering additional employment opportunities. Healthcare costs in West Virginia are generally in line with national averages, but specific costs can vary based on insurance coverage and services used. 
And here's a bonus tip for sticking with us to the end. When considering the cost of living in Cheat Lake, don't forget the hidden cost that can sneak up on you. This includes things like home maintenance, especially if you're living near the water and potential fees for community or homeowners associations in certain neighborhoods. Don't rule it out if it isn't an HOA. Some of the HOAs in West Virginia are formed for snow removal and road maintenance. So ask your trusted real estate agent before you decide against it. These costs aren't always obvious when you're house hunting, but they're important to factor into your budget. And that's a wrap on our friendly tour of the cost of living in Cheat Lake, West Virginia. It's a place where the beauty of nature meets the comfort of a close knit community, all without emptying your wallet. Whether you're planning your budget for a potential move or just daydreaming about lakeside living, I hope this glimpse into Cheat Lake living expenses has been as delightful for you as it is for the folks who call it home. Remember, a little planning goes a long way, so keep these tips in mind and you'll be ready to enjoy all that Cheat Lake has to offer. See you by the lake. If you would like to know more about moving to the mountain state of West Virginia, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my socials to keep yourself updated about best reasons to move to West Virginia. Hit the like button if you found this video informative. Once again, I'm Erica Johnson with eXp Realty, and you can get in touch with me through my contact details in the description box below. If you have any doubts or any questions for me, then please leave them in the comment section below, and I will be more than happy to answer them for you. See you in the next video, helping you to take your next step.